So I was doing research for different videos that I thought would be cool to show you guys about mixing. And I found this old lecture from an engineer that works for Chris Brown. Let's hop into it. Peep this though, right? So this is the video right here. I'm just gonna call him Tizio because I don't know how to say his actual name, no offense. And let's go ahead and get into it. Also, this video is in HD, right? Like I got this shit 1080p. It just looked like this, I ain't gonna lie. So. My name is Patrizio Pigliapoco. People call me Pat. People call me Tizio. Um, I'm Chris Brown's recording and mixing engineer. I also mix and record for other people. The first thing and the most important thing is for any engineer is the template. So the template for me, um, I'm going to go through it so you guys can kind of just see where I'm at with it. And then we'll jump into the autotune portion of it. What he's talking about in reference to the template, he's talking about having a preloaded session file that has all of his presets ready to go locked and loaded instead of coming in and loading up every preset one by one by one no let's have this template where all of our presets are locked loaded they're in their positions he says that you know being an engineer is a fast-paced thing you want to have the artist up and going and everybody knows they want a seamless transition they want a seamless work process you know to help keep things flowing fast consistent and of course conveniently that's why he's saying that it's important to have a template and i think everybody should have their own template if you don't have one of your own right now you can head down to the link in the description right now to sadboyfari.net i use it on almost all of my songs sometimes if i don't want to use my instant clean preset which is the main preset of that mix i'll just go ahead and swatch it out for whatever i need but it's super dope super convenient it has automation set up in it ready for you to go it has about seven presets up inside of it one with the beat mix a master i have everything that you need up in there so go ahead and head down to the link in the description but let's go ahead and get back to the video everything is there that is going to be my reverb main and my delay quarter note simple h delay nothing complicated um doesn't have to be complicated to to make big records the next one is my background vocal bus which is where all the background vocals go really simple cut um chris is what y'all seeing right here is an eqing He's cutting the lows. By cutting the lows, you're getting rid of all of that muddiness that's in the back of your vocals that can shallow up your mix. Muddiness isn't even just with vocals. It can also be, you know, in, in when you're mixing your beat. If you have too much low end, the base of the 808s would just be drowning out everything else. So just like how those things work with instruments, you can also use them as vocals because vocals are instruments. So if you have too much low end, it'll muddy everything in your vocals as well. So... He's, got, he's cutting the lows right here at the green, and then I'll move me. He's bringing them up and rising them. He's boosting the highs right here. I think he's boosting it like three decimals. And so here's something really cool I'll show you guys in FL Studio. But he's using a Fab Filter plugin. I don't have Fab Filter, but I'll pull these up. So, of course, the stock EQ that you're going to have if you're using a DAW such like FL Studio, because, you know, that's the DAW of my choice. I don't use Pro Tools. I've never used Pro Tools. But you would essentially just come right here to the type and, you know, you'll put a high pass. The high pass is only allowing the high frequencies, therefore cutting out the low. So you'll put that right here on the one and then you cut. And in the boost, he's probably just doing something like this. But that's all that the, P, you know, the parametric EQ looks like. You know, it's, it's a stock thing. So it's not as dope as these non-stock options, which, you know, do seem to be the more industry type of eqs because the biggest difference i noticed with these type of eqs compared to the stock ones is when you push like this it's more like fluid if if that makes sense like the way i'm able to move these around and this is infinity eq it's um it's it's a slate digital eq it's made by the same people that make fresh air and re no 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 reverse is the initial i'm sorry but things of this nature you know so Oh, I'm cutting right there, but I'll um boost right up here in the high. Awesome shit. You know, doing this could just affect the presence because, you know, boosting up in the highs is where your vocal clarity can be. It's that crispiness. While in your low end, is, you're going to have a lot of your, you know, tonality there. The highs is where that shine and shimmer comes in. So, yeah. I hope y'all are messing with this video right now, too. If you if you fucking with this and you feel like you learning something, bro, drop a like on the video, bro. I fuck with you. And I, I appreciate y'all for clicking on the video, man. Let's get to it, though. Let's keep going. When you are mm. recording an artist, you have two choices. You can either print auto-tune or you can have auto-tune on every single track. Um, the difference is that if you print the auto-tune, there's no changing it. Besides adding, you can add more auto-tune, but you can't take away. 
So specifically for Chris, he prints all the auto-tune. You'll never hear a Chris vocal without auto-tune on it because before it even hits the record track, it's running through a bus that's printing the auto-tune onto the vocal. Um, so I get what he's saying. His raw vocal stems, they may have no reverb. They might have no delay. The EQ might be turned off, but they will always have auto-tune on there. And this is how you can do that. When I'm recording, I do that as well. So if I go right here and we look at where my rec preset is. If I click right here, external input only, external input, input only is only going to record the vocals with no effects on it. So none of these vocals will be, he said, I believe stitched to the vocals. I, I'm saying glued. Like that auto tune is not gonna be permanently stuck. But if I go right here and I put post effects, post EQ, you know, the post instead of the, External, the post is after the effects. So the effects will be stuck and glued to them permanently every recording, every time that you go. So if that's what you want, that's how you do that. Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure maybe that's in every dog because if he's doing that in Pro Tools, I just showed you how to do it right here in FL. So I'm, I'm guessing that's a, a DAW, every DAW type thing. So yeah, I know a lot of people don't like their natural voice. And I just wanted to show you guys um, something that I did with the mix with a plugin called the Avox Duo. It's one of my favorite plugins that I use to create a stereo image of, a, of a, a sound that was not normally in stereo, it was in mono. So I'll show you right now as soon as this opens. Crazy enough, I, Avox Duo, here let me put my... So this is me talking right now into Avox Duo. I believe I've seen later on in his video he used a more, um, more older version I think, but this, that lecture video was made in like 2020. But Avox Duo sounds like this. And so what he was saying was, what he says is, since one of his things was left leaning, meaning they, the sound was more on the left than it was on the right, he had the original sound, which is this one right here. This is the original, and it's only panning to the left. So ha, ha, ha. You have that double come in. Whoa, 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 whoa. On some shit like this. And so it ends up sounding like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me put some auto tune on. Let me see. I never thought it would be so simple, but I found a way. I found a way. I don't really care if you cry. I hope y'all fuck with this video. I thank y'all for watching. If you learned something in this video, bro, comment a thanks, mate. If y'all need y'all songs mixed or mastered, I'm always available. You can head down to the link in the description below, or if you just need some vocal presets, again, that recording template is available at sadboyfari.net, or just go ahead to the description. I hope everybody's doing well, man. Y'all stay easy, be safe, and I appreciate y'all again. I'll see y'all in the next one. Let me know if y'all want more of these type of videos. Peace.